we recognize that it was important for us to be more involved in school to, to create a diversion from engaging in gang activity. One of the components of our gang strategy as an organization, the Jamaica Constabulary Force, is diversion. How do we divert people away from gang? We will be targeting a number of schools, in fact, 150 schools, and we will engage the student and to make presentation, not only to the student, but parents as well and teachers, in terms of identify what are some of the things that they should look for um, in, re in respect of student who might be drawn towards involving in gang. We try to let them see, let the youngsters see the negatives, you know, the far-reaching effects of being involved in these groups, their own well-being, their own development. And that in itself should, uh, in a real way, you know, have them think twice as to joining these criminal groups. We should look at a set of actions as parents to so guide us to seek intervention to get them away from this kind of a thing. Parents ought to look for signs such as changes in behavior, having unaccounted for valuables, uh, dressing in a particular way, using certain language, as well as, you know, being unaccountable for most of the time, you know, at places where they may be hanging out with other gang members. I must hasten to say, though, that teenagers do have some of these, uh, do exhibit some of these uh, signs as teenagers, so we must not just take take it for granted that they are members or they are inclining to be members of criminal organizations. While we see signs of behaviors in institutions, and while some of these institutions fall within certain geographic areas where the gangs are pronounced, uh, what we actually have been seeing really is more of not necessarily gangs in schools, but persons who attend schools, you know, do from time to time get involved in the wider uh, gang networks that are most oftentimes in the in these areas where these schools are from. CTOC did presentations to approximately 1,000 principals across six educational regions. They also presented to, at two of our back-to-school conferences held in July and a total of over 3,000 persons include board chairs, bursars, principals and teachers, deans of discipline benefited from their special intervention. The partnership therefore continues as we seek to present to students and later we will engage the National Parenting Support Commission as well as the National Parenting Teachers Association to address parents with this similar presentation. Almost 100 schools have been sensitized about the Police Youth Club and currently there are 50 schools that have the active Police Youth Clubs in their schools. I must also point out that as part of the strategy to use the interventions earlier in terms of prevention, we have actually rolled out the Police Youth Club in our early childhood institutions and we have already launched two of them and so we're building out from that level all the way up. So hopefully by the time they get to primary and secondary, we have children that you know our society can be proud of. It is said that um, youth are likely to join gangs during their teenage um, years when parental significance and supervision are removed and replaced by peer influence. So it is important for us to see ourselves as a part of it. It's not left to a few people, the, 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 the school system, the police, but everybody must get involved. Some of the youth that we consider to be um, having behavioral problem, if we can improve on their self-esteem and let them feel a sense of belonging and cause them to feel important, we'll see significant changes. So I'm saying, let's love our children, let's show our children that they are important, and let's join in the activity
to engage your children and let them know that they are the future and if we invest in them the problem of gangs and violence will be reduced.